Agent down. What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now shout out to the DoD, Disciples of Doom. Now this is going to be my first of many Bighorn builds. So this is the first one that I think uh, I can successfully say works in both PvP and PvE with ease. Uh, obviously PvE, it's amazing for and this build really shines in PvE and of course in PvP I had to find something that had a balance of tankiness and damage so I hope you guys enjoy this build but uh yeah here it is so showing you guys a little bit of the PvP game clips um, also at the end of this video I will be doing Lincoln Memorial on Heroic just to show you how it works in everyday life but all right, here it is. This is my first big horn build. It is a true patriot memento hybrid. Uh, reason for that is I don't need the four piece of true patriot. Uh, I only need the three piece because I want a bigger magazine size for the big horn. Now, yesterday uh, I finally got the big horn to drop from a hunter on a summit legendary. And I kept talking about how the recoil versus the mag size versus the talent, um, you know, and console versus PC for this weapon. And there's a lot of different factors that you have to play when it comes to this weapon. Now, me, myself, I'm on console. I play Xbox with a controller, nothing special. So for me, the big horn, in my opinion, is it's okay it's good um it does work but it's not like the the best out there when it comes for like pvp um weapons it's top tier but it's the bottom of the top tier so what i did here is i wanted to increase the magazine size so my big horn is currently at 52 rounds so when I put one round in the chamber, I have a 53 round big horn shooting at over 100k base damage, 102, before all the other stacks. And this thing is glorious. I think the 52 rounds or 53 when you have one in the chamber is a perfect mix for this weapon. Um, there are people out there that are 
talking about uh, for me to try out Striker. And let me just give you a sneak peek. I've done, let's see, I've tried one, two, three, four, five. I've tried five different <laughs> Bighorn builds. And this is the first one that I, um, I really feel comfortable with. It's the most reserve when it comes to normal builds that I push out. And uh, I actually like it this way. Now I'm using the Memento bag. This is for multiple reasons. And I am just skipping into the build. I'm using this Memento bag because I want a stronger shield. Yeah, I said it. I said it. I said it on this day I said that shit. Now I want a better shield because this in PvP up against a Lady Death is a no-brainer loss. Uh, the Lady Death with its amplified damage on top of 99% of them running it with Intimidate, it's a no-brainer. You're going to get outshot because normally the Bighorn only has a 40 round magazine and it's really hard to compete with things like the Lady Death when in, you know, just everyday life, the Bighorn does not have anything that, you know, can bring it to the table. The talent, Big Game Hunter, it revolves purely on either scoping in to shoot semi-auto like a rifle, or it relies on you to just get headshots. Now, if you are a console, whether it be Xbox or PlayStation, I can guarantee 80, maybe even 90% of you are not feeling comfortable about hitting nothing but headshots all day long. There might be 10 or 20 of you that might feel like you got the skills to do it, which you might, I mean, go for it. That's cool. I, I, I personally, I'll hit some headshots. I think in one of these conflict matches, I maybe got like a, a 20 stack on my weapon before hitting another headshot. But I mean, I don't know. For the most of us, it's not headshots all day, and that's what really hurts this weapon. That and the attribute is crit hit damage, which also kind of hurts this weapon as well. Uh, you, you might be hearing a lot of negatives, but uh, I'm trying this thing out, and it's not bad. I'm making it work, and it works beautifully. And uh, you just have to figure out what kind of build to mold with it to try to up it. And for me, bumping it up to that 52 round really does help. So my whole outlook on this build is you want to be able to hit really hard for a long amount of time because 52 rounds at, what, what is that, 102 base, it does a lot of damage. But you need to hit all, all your rounds because uh, these Lady Death guys are just going to burst you down. So you have to make sure that you can either out tank them or outpower them. So what I did here is I went with more tankiness at 1.5 million armor. So I have blues all across. Well, the memento is where it helps me with that as well. So not only does the memento help my shield out by giving me a blue and a yellow, but it also helps my build out because I get that damage, that tankiness, and then it helps out my shield, which makes me even more tanky. So it's kind of a, a win all be all kind of deal with the memento. It's a no brainer to run with this build. Now the three piece true Patriot, the reason why I'm doing that is because you don't really need the four piece. Yes, you do have 52 rounds in the magazine and yes, you could, you know, get full flag and get some more buffs and you know, things like that. But when, especially in PVP situations, you're not wanting to do that. You're wanting to get more damage and more tankiness. And this helps bring your magazine up. Yeah, it gives you some, you know, the ammo capacity is cool. But for me, ammo capacity doesn't mean squat. And especially if you're in the dark zone and you're going manhunt, just have one guy run gunner will give you ammo so you don't really have to worry about ammo capacity and then with you know missions and directives it seems that either you're going to have all the ammo in the world or you're going to have no ammo at all so might as well just run a skill build at that point point. and uh there, there's just different ways of doing that 
So what else increases my sustainability is I'm also running Unbreakable. So when my armor's depleted, I get 95% per of it back, but that's in PvE. In PvP, it's only 50. So I was about to just go ahead and say 50, but that's only for PvP. So running Unbreakable with the shield, I mean, th that's how you're going to overcome those Lady Death players. And then if people are running Glass Cannon, it's just a done deal. But, all right, let's go back. So the specialization, Flamethrower. I'm using the Firewall specialization. Reason is I get this shield that everyone and their mom likes to run. This is my first build ever running it. And what this bad boy does is it gives me a damage bonus and it's also tanky. So I get a damage bonus and I get to be tanky. There's no reason not to run it, especially if I'm gonna go up against the Lady Death Intimidate meta, might as well bring a shield to a knife fight. And then also I do run the Jammer Pulse. Um, I just hate everyone just throwing skills at me. That seems to be, you know, what people like to do. So the Jammer Pulse is uh, the best way to negate that. Now, looking back at my weapons, I am running the Banshee SMG uh, as my secondary reason is that it shoots really, really quick and it has measured on it. And if you guys have ever tried Banshee with True Patriot, look at this magazine size, 67, and it has measured on it, bruh. So that means I've got, what is that, 33? 33 bullets hitting at that fast of speed and then the other 33 are going to give me all that damage it's a done deal but that's only if uh i get caught up reloading or something and then of course the sidearm doesn't really matter double barrel sawed off gets the job done especially with close and personal now deep dive into the build starting with the mask walker harris reason I'm using this is for the brand set bonus that gives me more weapon damage. This one's god rolled, so I have max weapon damage, crit chance, and crit damage. For the mod, I chose crit chance because I'm using a bighorn. I want to try to get as much crit chance as possible. Going to the backpack, memento backpack. Um, reason I'm using this is for all of the core attributes and the talent kill confirmed now in pve the talent kill confirmed is a no-brainer it's amazing um this was broke about a patch or so ago and uh they did fix it and it's still fun to use now the only thing i did with this is i threw crit chance on there for the mod slot now three piece true patriot starting with the gloves and the gear set bonuses so I do get the ammo capacity at 30%, which I said previously, it's okay. Uh, I'm not biased either way. But the magazine size is where it's at. I actually wish they had brand set bonuses that gave you magazine size because that would be a smart thing to do. Um, but I'm using this all about the magazine size to bump my big horn up to 52 rounds. Now, as far as the attributes, max armor, max crit chance. Go down to the knee pads, um, not max armor, 164k, and then max crit damage. Holster, again, max armor, max crit damage. And then finally, the chest piece, Fenris with Unbreakable. Now I'm using the Fenris for the 10% AR damage from the brand set bonus. And this one has max weapon damage, max crit damage with crit chance at 5.3. And then again, I chose more crit chance for the mod slot. Now remember, Unbreakable gives you 95% of your armor back in PvE, which makes it really fun. And then in PvP, it's only 50%. So just remember that. All right, and let's finish up with these stats. So this is for my Bighorn. PvE guys, I'm at 102.4k PvP guys I'm just under 41k 
44.7 crit chance, 103 crit damage, and 105 headshot damage. And then of course it's an AR so you have health damage. Now going to the offensive tab, 59.9 .9, all weapon damage bonus. And then add that with my AR damage bonus of 40% and I'm at 99.9 .9 damage bonus total just starting out. And then for the gear talents, I am running the Memento backpack so I do get the kill confirmed with Unbreakable. Go into the defensive tab, 1.5-ish million armor, it just rounds up with 330k health and eh, about 100k health on kill. And that is all she wrote you guys. Remember that I am shade level 1161 for this video, so if you are watch level, you know, 9... 99 or you know 999 or below you're not going to have certain stats as me just because of your watch level for everyone that's watching this video and they are over watch level 1000 shade level 1000 you'll already have a max watch just make sure that you maxed them all out and you should have the same numbers as me but then the rest of it's up to rng now, what did I, did I miss anything before I go in PVE? Let's see, I think I got it all. It was a little unorthodox the way that I did the build breakdown, but I really just wanted to explain uh, my reasons on this build because I'm trying to combat the Lady Death meta and all that amplified damage is really hard to overcome without using all the amplified damage. Let's see. So Lincoln Memorial is Overlord. So I bet some people are over there farming for Fox's prayer. Let me see if I can help somebody out. Now hit that like if you guys enjoyed the build breakdown. I already showed you the PvP game footage that I already had and about to show you the PvE. And then finally shout out to the DoD uh, Disciples of Doom. All right, let's see how long it takes for me to matchmake. Did I get this? Uh, I don't think that comes out yet. Maybe a dance will help. Oh man. You have been promoted to group leader. Oh wow, it just went ahead and made leader. me leader. Alright, fair enough. So now that we are on our way for the heroic Lincoln Memorial gameplay, um, let me know in the comments section below how you guys run your uh, big horn. I heard a lot of people uh, get some insane headshot damage uh, numbers. And, uh,. I want to know, like, what is it that you guys prefer? Is Striker better for the RPMs, question mark, and weapon handling? Another or is, is it all about the True Patriot? Because I prefer the 50, what's it, 53? Yeah, I prefer the 53 rounds, but we'll see. What the? How are they already started? What the hell's that all about? Alright. guy going to spawn here? Probably not. We need you right. to secure the memorial Whatever. and remove the True Sons forces. Oh, they maintain this outpost. The True Sons will be a direct threat to the campus. Immediate medical assistance needed. There we go.
the only bad part about matchmaking is that now I have to go against two players worth of NPCs even if my buddy doesn't uh, fast travel over here. So that's why a lot of people get kicked for being inactive. Now that I'm starting to get stacks, it's not even going to matter. Oop. Probably should have just started this solo anyways. Makes life easier. Who's down there? Show yourself! Oh, there you are. So welcome to the kamikaze at night. How about I just solo this? Whatever. I was gonna help someone get the uh, fox prayer knee pads, but uh, it seems like people just either don't want to join or no one's matchmaking. Try to flank me, bruh. Oh, he got his turret up. All right. Once you get stacks, it's pretty much game over. Let me get a little bit of ammo. But now that you can see my armor bar is just ridiculously high. So I'm gonna start getting those max stacks that last five minutes. And really makes PvE content very easy. Yo, really? Thank you. Jesus. It might have been hard because I was in a shield the whole time. Nope, now I have someone on the turret. Okay, okay. Try to show. Let's see if this makes a. Uh See if this makes heroics look easy or hard. And of course, I can just holster it, get it to regen that way.
Yeah, see, semi-auto is not fun. You want to go for the full auto. Oh no, you broke my unbreakable. Ooh, I just dropped a cash. Oh yeah, I forgot about my conflict caches. Oh, oh no, your fire got me. Oh, oh, some, some, some bitch. There we go. Oh yeah, that's that cash. Let's do this real quick. All right, if you guys are still here, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, if you haven't already, obviously hit the thumbs up just because I like this. If you guys want this to continue, uh, hit that thumbs up. That dude's really good with his grenade placement. Stop. I'm trying to pop your back. There we go. Is that a drop? Nah, it's special. Alright, but uh, what I was going to say is, is let me know how you guys like the Bighorn. Um, I'm noticing that when it comes to headshots, like right there, I was able to get, you know, 30, 40 stack or, you know, something around there. But as far as like semi-auto, I don't know. I'd rather use a rifle, you know what I mean? Like the scope, it's not, it's just not the best scope. I'm not a hater, and maybe I am. I, I would just prefer this to be an AR like this. It just makes it easier. But then when you add this scope to it, and then the way it shoots, it kind of makes it a rifle, which is fine, but I don't know. I'm biased. Just, we need, we need something to, uh combat that lady death if you're going to keep the lady death amplified we need other weapons that have amplified like you can't just it, it's making us just make builds with the same weapon over and over and over and it's because it's op like here we go here we go i mean i was able to hit like a 1.9 there just with no stacks that wasn't bad And I can run around without the shield, do a little bit of this, a bit of that. You see how I use the jammer pulse to my advantage? Even when I'm not going for skills? It still does mess them up. Oh hey, piece of candy. There we go. Oh, don't even get me started about the riot foam. Shoot. Where you at? There you are. How you not? How? Man? Kind of. The one guy. Damn it! The true sense of turning the memorial into a base. There's an area beneath you with increased security. Isaac can't access data on this location. Stay alert. I don't know what you're walking into. I don't know what I'm walking into either. <laughs> but like I was saying, the Bighorn is uh, pretty much uh, a lot of fun in PVE. It's very easy to use. I mean, there's really no huge drawbacks. Um, hitting headshots just means you're getting more damage, which is good. I mean, you could pair that up with, uh, what's that backpack talent? Um, concussion. 
where in concussion when you do headshots you get more uh, weapon damage so that would be something to do with like a headshot build that'd be pretty cool I just don't know if I could get used to using that scope though um, it'd be cool if I could toggle semi-auto and still have the crosshairs and then be able to switch to a scope or not that'd be pretty cool but as far as just uh you know, as far as just running around doing this all day, I mean, nah, no thanks. I'd rather use the uh, Baker's Dozen, because that thing is a beautiful. I love it. Uh, where's this one? Oh yeah, it's right here. I feel like I missed something. Nope. Oh, it's that's in the uh, next part. All right. Finish up. So remember, to get all the, uh, that PvP bonus or whatever, keep them in your little cone here when it comes to your shield. That's when you get the stupid, stupid strong damage. Hitting some pretty good numbers. Just for, you know, a little true patriot hybrid, it's not bad. It's pretty fun. Oh, you got me too. Oh, I'm on fire. Help me, Tom Cruise. I'm getting shot in the back by a red. Man, come on. How's a red gonna proc my unbreakable that quick? Come on. Heroic or not, I don't expect a red to do that. You know what I mean? Uh, that's uh, NPC logic. But kamikaze, that's a, uh, it's heroic, bro. Yeah, yeah, but there's still reds. Hey, come on. More loot. Give me the loot. Watch me get a, watch me get a pair of Fox's Prayer that I don't need. Those people should have been, should have been matchmaking. I wonder why that one dude wasn't, uh, he wasn't playing. Made me start the damn mission as a two man when it was just me. Ooh, piece of candy. White death. Blah. Maybe I should do a sniper build. Hey, let me know in the comments section below if you want a sniper build. Let's, uh, let's get crazy. So here's the build right now. So you can see that with all the stacks, my long-term stacks, I'm at one point or 125.5 K total damage. And that's with 1.5 million armor. So that's just from the memento stacks. Use a little bit of DS, a little bit of that. Grenade. Oh no, you dropped it. Oh, oh. That sucks. <clears throat> Come on. Who's next? Who wants some?
Who's starting to frag? Or I'm a stun, guys, I promise. In case I'm boring you guys. Oh, that's another question I wanted to ask. Um, if you guys do not like me doing Lincoln Memorial at the end of a build, what uh, what mission would you prefer? Because I know a lot of PVE guys, they just want to see what it does in PVE. They don't. They could care less about PVE. So, at the end of these build videos, I'm going to try to just add PVE just to show you how it works in just everyday uh, struggles. Which, every day I'm pve in that way I can PvP. You know, that's that's a motto. It should be a bumper sticker. We PvE to PvP. I like it. Alright, here we go. Finishing up. That should keep them from getting more of those mortars. Oh. He's he's an angry little elf. Alright, so one last time here's the build. Using the big horn with unbreakable memento, three piece, tree patriot, and walker harris. Hope you guys enjoy this. This is the last part of Lincoln Memorial. And then it will be the end of the build video. What? Come on. What's he doing? Jesus. Guys, oh no, the second wave. Second wave. Alright. Jeez, this boss doesn't like me. Are you? Are you broke? Serious trouble Oh no! Oh no! I forgot that my unbreakable just procced. Oh my gosh. Noob. Oh no, noob. If you just watched that, let me know in the comment section below and write, haha, I just watched that. Because, uh, or just write, witness. Something. Because a lot of people might not know what you're saying because a lot of people don't watch the full video. So then they're not going to know what you just saw. So we, we need to come up with some sort of like key keyword or something when it comes to that. That way I know what you guys are talking about, but other people that don't watch the full video know what you're talking about. You know what I mean? Inside joke. It's a lot of people, they just go to the build and then they pause and they write their hateful comment and then they walk out without even watching the content. It's pretty funny. Oh, hold up. Hold up, hold up. This guy's a M MFer. Hold up. Let's take out the little guy first. Alright, get my stacks. And then go to this MFer. There. Oh no, it shocked me too. Come on. This guy's giving me trouble. There we go. And then I've got a surprise for these motherfuckers. Oh no, come on. It would be the flamethrower. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get it. Hold on. There we go. Oh, it's his, like, stomach. His torso! Shoot him in the torso! There we go. So, let's see. So, if you guys saw me... Uh, do what happened over here with the second boss um, comment below I saw that with like a wink or like a emoji or something like that I saw that just just that way I know you you saw what I'm saying but uh, other people that didn't watch that will have no idea but alright that was the end of Lincoln Memorial and this is my first of many Many, many, many Bighorn builds. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Shout out to the DoD Disciples of Noon. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. We confiscated a massive cache of chemical weapons and eliminated a stronghold near the campus. You should be proud. You saved a lot of lives today. Real crit percentage, 42. Real crit damage, 49. Interesting. 42 and 49. What am I at? Uh, I mean, I'm at 44, but then the 49? So I'm not getting nearly as much crit damage consistently as I am getting crit chance. That's interesting. Huh. Learn something new every day. Right? Pretty sure that's what that said. Real crit damage percentage 49. Interesting. Team damage.